When you first talked to Yorgos about it, how did he... Oh, that's interesting. How did he describe it? I was quite fascinated by this discordancy between these period costumes and this crazy, less obviously sci-fi history. The process with Yorgos was one of kind of distilling that. He gives you quite a long leash. He doesn't micromanage or tell you what to do, and I found that really fascinating. And I had a whole massive journey of my own, strange body forms in bold, lurid colours. Holly came in with so many boards and so many ideas that were just brilliant. I flew to Athens before our rehearsal process to do a long, early fitting with Holly and Yorgos. We very quickly decided that she may have been dressed in the morning by Mrs. Prim, but has lost most of it by lunchtime. We had a very good starting point with Bella because she's so unique. You can imagine that she would put together her looks in a strange way. So they're always worn with a pair of knickers or with a pair of bloomers or with a little play suits or a weird bustle. She really had these ideas for textures and intestinal or body parts, like there's a vagina blouse, you know, like everything symbolizes something. I sort of reserved all really strong yellows for her. We spent ages trying to achieve this shade of mango yellow that Yorgos likes so much. It's a color that is synonymous with sun and light and she's a very light-filled person. There is a world to enjoy, traverse, circumnavigate. This is one of the costumes worn by Catherine Hunter, who played Madame Swiney, who's the madame in the brothel. I found this fabric, which I really like, it's super textural, and the crushed velvet, I associate it as being quite a seedy fabric. This is the ocean liner costume that she wears when she goes to the slum. This is the day when she's really with Harry, so it's very much about her and Harry being in these pale costumes. You hear that? So before this point, we haven't really seen her in anything as put together as this, and this is the moment when we see her kind of identifying with her class. This was not going to be a very traditional period film, so she could work with fabrics deconstructing the period look. We got the opportunity to reveal layers of garments that we would never normally see in films. Yorgos is really drawn to strange material qualities. He likes things that have a hard to place texture. I don't think Yorgos would ever say we're setting this in the 1890s, but he really loved the big sleeves of the 1890s. The silhouette of the period creates this super svelte female body by making the shoulders huge. I think I'm just nervous because yeah. of the fall, because yeah, that's yeah. so... Constricting. She doesn't wear a corset at all in the film for her performance, particularly when she's very young, like a new person, and at her most childlike, the language of her movement just could not have coped with the corset. And then it's as if she has this separate wardrobe that's almost been waiting for her that's, you know, a bit more grown up. I think it sort of doesn't really matter that they're from another period, actually. With Holly, the costume designer, it's not just about look, it's about practicality. Willem has these boiler suits. We made one that was like based on the idea of what if a smoking jacket was a very tailored smoking jacket boiler suit. I'm actually something of a romantic Max. And everything has these little sort of smiley pockets that look like orifices. And he plugs his tubing through this funny little hole. Everybody's costume is gorgeous. I could walk down Fifth Avenue with this today then actually look cool. <laughs> Men were very peacockish uh, in the Victorian age. I mean, sumptuous, like wild. We took that to the extreme. I mean, I probably had like 15 fittings. Everything was tailor-made. We just look at a lot of things and images and pictures and discuss about the characters. It gives you the freedom to think outside the box. I think Holly really is incredibly brilliant. I think that the ideas that she was coming up with were very challenging to execute and were all deeply thought through and inspired.